of Nitro Drag Racing here at Houston. The last race here at this facility. It's hot, it's muggy. Alan Reinhardt! What are we live? Uh, what's bigger in Texas? Everything. What's bigger? Like what? Everything. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Texas, baby. Everything's bigger in Texas. I mean, I feel like Alan's bigger than me right now, too, so. <laughs> Where's your car? That's what the world wants to know. Uh -huh. Why are you not racing here? Charlotte. Charlotte? Charlotte. Okay. Yes. I only got a couple more days and I can hit that gas. So I'm pretty excited. So you figured beating them one at a time is too easy? You want to beat them three at a time? Absolutely. Well, Alan Reinhardt, the voice of NHRA. Thank not, you for stopping by. Not the face by. of NHRA. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for you stopping by. You're the one that was coming by. I'm just like standing here getting run over. Okay, thank you. Here at Houston Raceway, we're going to talk to some drivers. We're going to talk to some crew people. We're going to see what is really bigger in Texas. Uh, Houston, there's a ton of people here. It's so exciting to see all these fans out. Wish I was racing, but I get to hit the gas in a just about six days in Charlotte. So I'm excited. The cheetah machine is coming back. people are the tracks 124 degrees and greasy so I think that tomorrow this will be like when the semifinals are though so you, it would be helpful to know how to get down the track right now anything else you want to tell the people of NHRA on Christmas adventures I love my wife and my mother oh that's a good one what's bigger in Texas Buggies. Buggies. <laughs> what's bigger in Texas nothing everything <laughs> That's a little crazy. I don't know if I get in that. <laughs> I like wheelies, but I don't know if I like that much of a wheelie. <laughs> Getting ready for first run today on Saturday. Uh, gotta do a little shoe change because I am the backup girl for Pauly today. Uh, we went through a little bit of a crew change and so we're all kind of pitching in on different jobs and since I'm not racing this weekend, uh, I was deemed the backup girl. So you gotta put on some shoes, there are some laces because my slip-on vans are not gonna fly. <laughs>
Hey, we're vlogging here. My bad. <laughs> What are you doing? Okay, this is where I leave you. You're doing great. I knew it was going to be pokey for all the a lot of people out here. Tough look for Ooh, look at that 80 white. We appreciate you. My next victim, Clay Milliken. I'll tell you what's been really, I don't know if it's bigger, but it's windy in Texas. I have been thinking all week long, I should have brought a kite. We could have had a who can get the kite the highest. And the reason I even bring that up is it was really windy at home last week. Me and Donna went and bought a kite and like six or seven hundred feet of string. <laughs> and by the time we get home, the storm was gone and it wasn't windy. I should have brought it with me. Uh, yeah, you should. All right. Last qualifier. It's sticky out here. It's hot out here. It's like a hundred and a million degrees on the racetrack. Yes. What are you feeling? I'm feeling it's almost time to go stomp on the loud pedal <laughs> and let all of these people make sure it goes down the racetrack because you know this, and the people watching may not know this, the only thing the driver can do is mess something up. <laughs> yes, that is you know so what I mean? true. <laughs> you gotta stay nice and straight and don't lean the car, don't turn the wheel more than it needs. And I'm not saying you don't drive them, but you absolutely, the more square you can keep the car, especially when it's hot, the better your catches are maintaining traction. So for me, I just don't want to screw nothing up and let all these bumps down. At last race here, What's your favorite memory? I went to the final round here, and I am not like some of the old timer old timers like Big Daddy Don Garland can tell you the year, the time uh -huh. of day. I, I, don't, I don't have that ability, but I raced in the final round against the Budweiser car, 
million years ago. <laughs> I'm lost. But that is like the first thing I think of when I come to Houston. First of all, uh, Kaylin, what's bigger in Texas? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Am I supposed to know the answer to that? Yeah, everything's bigger in Texas. Like, what's bigger? The humidity. As you can see, we're both rocking the braids yeah. today. Yeah, and then some hairspray. I don't, they don't have a big enough can of hairspray. That's the only thing I think they gotta set the game yes. up on. Yes. What's your favorite thing about being the clutch chick? How detailed it is. Like, it's intense all the time. It doesn't stop being intense. So, like, obviously, I, I got a binder full of notes. I'm always gotta be on top of it. So, it just keeps my mind um, on it all the time. It's challenging. Final question. Is Clay always that happy? Yes. I don't know how he does it. It's crazy. That's a, It's a common question. And everyone's like, is he really that way? 100% all the time. Never seen him not smile. It's crazy. I don't, I wish I could be that happy all the time. Hi, Dallas. How you doing? What a celebrity. What is bigger in Texas? What is the biggest thing in Texas? What is bigger in Texas? What is bigger? To, everything's bigger in Texas. I know, but like what? I don't know. This crowd is awesome. I don't know if you've seen this crowd here. But yeah, it's it wild. It's packed right now. It is wild. You know, you haven't been to Houston too much as a driver, but as a crew person, what is your favorite memory? Uh, well, my very first year working, this was the first race I won working with Jason Lyon. This is the, our first win as a team with, with me working here, so that was, that was something that's special. That's Plus, this is also the uh, first number one qualifier I got last year. Woohoo! So, hey! What's cracking? Uh, what's bigger in Texas, Alex Laughlin? What's bigger in Texas? Yeah. Well, let's start with chicken fried steak, you know, maybe a burger. Uh, you know, I think the cars are faster here. It depends on the day. Uh, all kinds of things. I mean, the state, the state is one of the biggest in the country. The airport's gigantic. Uh, besides that, and off the cuff, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Double duty for you. So tell me, what is the biggest difference from A field to top field? Oh the gosh. Awesome crew guys behind them. Well, yes. Hello. <laughs> we definitely have an awesome, awesome crew here. Um, but to start, I guess I would probably say what's uh what's the same and it's, it's almost everything right between the two categories they're so similar however the biggest difference is the acceleration factor they are the closest in comparison that that even exist right but they are still light years away from each other and uh like uh, an, an alcohol dragster is one of the highest powered cars aside from the nitro category and when you're looking at the g meter the highest g's that it's pulling is right at the hit right and then from there it's declining so if it starts off at three g's it's 2.9 2.8 2.7 all the way down the track where this starts out at five or five and a half and actually climbs and you finish the run at six to six and a half then you've got about the same amount of negative G's when you step off the gas and the parachute hit. So you've got about a 12 G swing and it's like it's like it collapses your lungs going down the track because it's pulling so hard you can't even breathe. And then once the parachutes hit, you gasp for air like you're coming up from the bottom of a swimming pool. And as unenjoyable as that sounds, that's one of the best parts about it. Isn't it funny that we can explain all of our experiences but you still cannot put in the words what it's like to drive a top field car. Words words don't describe it. What's your absolute favorite part of a complete run in top field? Probably, man, that's, there's so many good spots, right? The burnout <laughs> yes. is, is one of the best. Um, but I'm gonna probably say what's in the first 300 feet, right? Because you hit the gas, it's wheels up, you get to watch the front end kind of dance around like an airplane in the sky, right? And then at 300 foot is where the clutch comes together one to one, and that's when it's like the car takes off a second time. And so that's a uh, that's one of the most fun parts for me. I like it too. It's pretty addicting. <laughs> it is, and unfortunately, it's about as the most expensive thing yes. that exists. So you know, I, I probably should have tried better at becoming a uh, professional golfer or something because that pays way better and costs much less, but. Uh, I'm living the dream. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Tell us.
was Alex Laughlin. On to the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, the world famous Scott Palmer. Hold on, I gotta get off my old man glasses. <laughs> What's bigger in Texas? Top Fuel Racing. Woo! That's the best answer I've gotten right. so far. Yeah. <laughs> what are we gonna see you back in the seat, Scott Palmer? In the next two races. Ooh, man. Maybe both of them, who knows? <laughs> You guys, I want you to know I've been watching Scott Palmer all my life. Oh, all now you really life. make me feel old. Courtney Anders. How's it going? It's good. I love Houston. <laughs> What's bigger in Texas? What's bigger in? In Texas. Texas? Everything. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, oh. except Chase. He's from Oklahoma. Which is way better. <laughs> oh, everything's bigger in Texas. Everything's bigger and better. Oh. Everything's better in Texas. Proof is on Courtney Anders' neck, right yes. there. It's bigger in Texas. And Erica, so we are matching. Oh, oh, that <laughs> sister thing. Yes. There's some girl power going on this weekend. Yeah, I know. The bike situation, uh -huh. Erica and Camry. Uh -huh. There's Richard messing with uh -huh. Richard, uh -huh. what say doing? something to the camera. Hey, what's up? Uh, what's bigger in Texas? Texas sucks. <laughs> Mic drop. What's your favorite part about racing? The people. people. The people. I could I could leave all of this behind. I could stay home on Saturdays. The people. The people. I agree. It's family. I agree. Nobody's as weird as we are. Where are we gonna find normal friends? <laughs> We're the traveling circus. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. Uh, I'll get them. I'll get them. <laughs> uh one question. Yeah. What's bigger in Texas? What's bigger in Texas? Yeah. yeah. I think a drag race this weekend. They were packed the house. Um, coming in this morning, I waited over an hour to get in the gate. And I guess a better answer to your question is everything's bigger than Texas. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I'm going to approach these deep torrents. Oh, doing no. his thing. Doing his thing. Man, I'm, I'm just a big kid. That's all. <laughs> so what are you doing? Um, I'm asking questions. So, uh, Steve? What's bigger in Texas? Everything but me. Everything but yeah. like you. You got Longhorns, you got... Everything's bigger in Texas. I mean, I, I, I can't think right off the bat of just one thing in particular, but like the only thing I can think of is me, and I'm not very big, so <laughs> uh, that, that saying does not apply to me. Ah, what's your favorite thing about racing in Texas? Oh, it's always so awesome to come home, and probably the best thing about it is the, the Texas pride. Fans that I've never met, fans that I've that that you know are just coming to the races to to be here for the first time. They always root for the Texan, and and that was kind of my gig earlier at Schumacher. They said he was a Texan, and that guy's not a Texan. He's a, he's from Chicago or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it, it, it's just Texas pride. I mean, anybody and everybody that's from Texas, it, it just. It's in them, it's, it's in you from the start. And I tell everybody there's two kinds of people, Texans and people that wish they were. Oh, I guess I'm the <laughs> people that wish we were Texas. <laughs> um, absolutely, what is your favorite part about a top field run? Honestly, it's the moment you stage the car. You pull the fuel pump on, you step off the clutch, and you bump the car into stage and you know at that moment that you're gonna get to, to, to push the pedal on the fastest, quickest accelerating land vehicle in the world, and there's nothing like that. You know what it's like. You know that that's, that is the epitome of signing your name on the dotted line and saying, it's time to go, boys. Let, let's go get it done. Let's run 330 miles an hour in less than four seconds. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I just got some chills. <laughs> chills! <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. What are you doing? I had one of these before my run last night. We hauled ass, so I'm hoping it works again. What? What, are, what is it? Uh, it's like a chili mango Mexican lollipop. Nacho, Nacho uh, introduced me to it uh, back in 2017, and I still love them.
qualifying session thanks to Dustin Heim and Jason Bunker, our new crew chiefs. But you know what, you guys? This is gonna be awesome because we are one day closer to Charlotte, which means it's one day closer for me to hit the gas in my own top fuel car. Oh, I, I can't, I am so excited, I can't wait. But thank you guys for following along on Krista's Adventures. What should we call this series? Like Adventures with KB, Krista's Adventures? I don't know, you guys let me know, but I'll see you next week in the Cheetah Machine. See ya!